Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally gonna dive into this big ash with the 500i. Probably just get it cut and quartered today and uh, go from there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see how the 500i does on this really big piece of ash here. It's gonna be awesome. So like I said, I'm gonna get it cut into pieces. Looks like I can get one, two, three 16 inch pieces and then be able to noodle those down into quarters. And then I'm probably gonna take you over to Sam's and show you his wood yard. So stick with me and we'll get right to it. All right guys, before we get started, I wanna show you these boots that were sent to me by High C. I've been wearing them for a little bit now and they're actually pretty comfortable. They're pretty nice. They come in steel toe and couple different colors. I'll give a link in the description and possibly have a discount code. So be on the lookout for that. If you're in for a new pair of boots, these, like I said, are very comfortable and they definitely do the job. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a fairly large ash tree here. Definitely gonna have to go from both sides. I already got it marked out pretty decent. As you see, and a couple of my other videos i always have trouble keeping a straight cut on these big ones because it's such such a long stroke so if you're off half inch over here or a quarter inch you could be off an inch on the other side if you're not straight on so i did my best here to put some guidelines in and uh see how we do hopefully i get some nice straight cuts but like i said this is definitely a fairly large ash and so that's a 25 inch bar so yeah it's gonna take a little bit of doing to get through this thing and I can't roll this by myself I'd roll it up to where it's a little shorter you know what I mean so but we're gonna deal with it the way it is and cut through it so here we go I already had the saw warming up I made my cuts so let's let's get into this thing So I can't find my wedges. So we're just gonna use this old ax and wedge this open a little bit. There it goes. There we go. Now we'll be able to cut all the way through. Oh! 
Of these out the way so I can noodle them and we'll be all right. Oh, it's heavy. All right, guys, I think you might have missed most of the awesome noodling but i do have one more left the gopro kind of acted up on me there but i have this last piece left maybe i'll noodle that shorter piece over there just so i got a little more footage i think i had six minutes in the last one so hopefully that six minutes was worth it uh -oh.
There we go. Too easy. <laughs> guys the rain is picking up pretty substantially so there's a lot of carnage here I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see it all but you guys get the point I'm gonna take you over to Sam's and give you an update on his wood yard so stick with me and we'll be there just like that all right guys made it over to Sam's and I'm under the VersaTube building very nice don't have to put it up and easy up anymore Sam's got a nice fire going over here, burning up some slabs and stuff. But uh, as you can see, it's raining. So I just beat the rain, cutting up that ash. So yeah, here, come over here and help Sam watch the fire. I'll give you a shot of the verse tube from outside. We only got half the roof done, but the building is up. Sam actually put the uprights up with his tractor. I'll throw a video in right here. It won't take long to put the other half on. Then we need to put the end caps on and the ridge cap, and it'll pretty much be done. He wants to close in the sides with some, some lumber though. So we'll see how that goes. So putting up the building was pretty easy, I guess. There's a lot of screws though. So if you're planning on getting one of these buildings, be prepared to basically screw your life away. At least for a little bit there's a couple thousand screws in this thing so I'll give you a look around the yard we got some weed problems it's a common weed here in PA for some reason they call it PA smart grass but it's actually uh, Japanese stilt grass yeah Japanese stilt grass Why are you putting in everybody meet the real back 40 Woo! <laughs> aka Sam Miller Anybody that was upset about the Don't real back upset. 40 name 
it was just a, a dig on Dan, really. Shifty, so, Shifty knows what it's about. Yeah. So, don't be upset. We're just screwing around with Dan a little bit. <laughs> and now i got to wait 30 days to change my name. Yep. <laughs> it's all fun, guys. It's all fun. To get the roof done, we probably have about another hour with three of us. With two of us, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Depends on how many beers we have. Yeah, depends on how many beers we have. So, But... I mean, with three of us, we, we knocked out, what, seven or eight pieces uh, of roofing? In like 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, in 45 minutes. So we have, what, 10 to do yet 10. or so? 10 or 11. So there's 10 more pieces to throw on the roof. And then, obviously, the ridge cap and the end caps. And this will be done except for the sides. But he can do the sides as he sees fit. So, All right, guys. Like I said, these boots are working out pretty well they're actually really comfortable and they seem to be pretty water resistant walking through grass now I don't know about stepping in puddles or whatever but so far so good if you guys want a pair like I said they come in steel toe regular toe or a different color you have to check them out I'll have a link in the description so that's all I have for today guys so if you like this type of stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment down below Tell one of your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one.